The feast for today is called Pentecost. It is the 50th day after Easter Sunday. And the focal point of Pentecost is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descended on the apostles, gathered in prayer, and appeared as tongues of fire. What is the lesson for today? We need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been working in the church since the first Pentecost until now, and according to the promise of the Lord, He will continue to guide us until the end of time. But we need the Holy Spirit for different reasons. For different ages, for different places, we need the Holy Spirit. But in the context of the Philippines, we need the Holy Spirit for very particular reasons happening in our country right now. The first is the crisis of truth. The opposite of truth is lie. And the opposite of God is the prince of lies, the devil. There is so much misinformation, disinformation, malinformation that has affected our country and the world. People can just say their truths and claim that it is the truth. When we do not like the truth, we attack it. When we attack the truth and we do not succeed because truth never dies, we create alternative truths. We create other truths. Actually, they are not alternatives. They are lies. And when our decision-making is based on lies instead of truth, then our decisions also become very shaky, standing on weak foundations. What is the truth? The truth is very simple. There is only one God. What is the truth? The truth is very simple. There is only one God and you are not God. That the Creator created us and we are all creatures. We cannot be creators. There can be only one Creator. There can be only one God. And when we forget that, things crumble. All truth comes from God. It is not our business to be inventing truths. It is not our business to be creating truths. Because truths are absolute, truths are immovable, and truths can only come from one source. And it is the truth with a capital T, and the Lord said, I am the truth. The second situation of our country is the constant culture of complaining. We have become an angry society. Why do we need the Holy Spirit? Because we need thanksgiving. To be able to see everything as grace. To be able to see everything as a gift. To be able to say, thank you, I will take care of this gift. Why do we see, what do we see instead of a culture of thanksgiving? It's a culture of unfriend. It is the culture of block. It is the culture of cancel. It is the culture of get away of my sight. Why? Because when we do not like things, we cannot see them as teaching us lessons. We discard them. A throwaway culture, a throwaway generation. Why is the Holy Spirit important for a culture of thanksgiving? Because we want to be happy. Who does not like to be happy? We want to be happy, but how can we be happy if we are always angry? And how can we thank the Lord if we are proud? You know, thanksgiving is only a fruit. It is the fruit of humility. The devil appeared to one abbot Apollos 800 years ago. And the devil looked like a normal human being. According to his apparition, the devil had no horns. The devil had no tail. The devil was handsome. 
The devil was looking bright and pleasant. The devil looked like you. The devil looked like me. Except for one. When Abbot Apollos looked down on the devil, he saw that the devil had no knees. Walang tuhod ang demonyo kasi ayaw niyang lumuhod. May tuhod tayo, di ba? And when we kneel down, we kneel down in humility. And when we kneel down in humility, we will see everything as grace. And when you see everything as a gift, you will be thankful. And when you are always thankful, you will be happy. It is not enough to say, Gusto ko happy ka. It is rather important to say, Gusto ko happy tayo sa pamamagitan ng humility. Because thanksgiving is another road to happiness. So the first need is truth. The second need is thanksgiving. The third need of our time, the third T, is transform, change. We heard that last May, Balon Dagupan, Balon Pangasinan, Pagbabago, Pagkakaisa. We want to be changed. We want transformation. But where does transformation come from? Transformation does not come from one person elected to position. Transformation cannot come from a single person. Transformation cannot come from the highest officer of the land. No. Where does transformation come from? Transformation comes from forgiveness. The Lord changes us by forgiving us. The devil can change you by making you worse. The Holy Spirit can change you by forgiving you and helping you to rise up from where you had fallen. There can be no transformation without forgiveness. And there can be no forgiveness without repentance. And there is no true repentance unless we correct the wrong that we have done. And for this, we need the Holy Spirit. Do you need the Holy Spirit? Do we need the Holy Spirit? And the answer is yes. Because without the Holy Spirit, we will all be liars. Without the Holy Spirit, we will all be complaining and angry. And without the Holy Spirit, we will not be able to transform to be better. We will go lower and lower and lower until we come, until we become like animals, talking like beasts, destroying and eating up one another. Come, Holy Spirit, give us your truth. Come, Holy Spirit, make us humble to give thanks. Come, Holy Spirit, transform us by your forgiving love.